For the sun, Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the roles can be switched. They see you, could be you see them. So just take it for whichever way that fits your situation. So Pisces, the energy that I'm picking up is that there's a situation that's going to call for you to put in a lot of work. A whole lot of work. Now, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Or it could be someone coming towards you. But it looks like it's a heavy workload. Yeah. So, let's get into the reading. And let's take a look and see see where that's coming from see what's going on with that so for the present time coming up towards the end of June we've got the tower card and it's paired with the nine of wands now the tower card is trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which can be a disaster because we have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may not, no longer be there in quite the same way. Now this doesn't have to be drastic. Be ch I'm sorry. This does not have to be drastic. Change is the nature of life and if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. That's only a problem if you let it be. You'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Dreaming is important. It's also important to be living in a reality. So, Tower card with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is it's showing anxiety, worry, being burdened, keyed up over concerns. First and the best step is to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can. At least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. What's the true likely, likelihood of the worry actually happening? You might want to ask yourself that. Comfort yourself. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is actually the mark of a strong person. So, we got some situation here where you might start to want to close yourself off and become guarded. Something stressful is going on. And there's worry and anxiety. And there's a tower moment. Something comes crashing down and you're enlightened actually by this disaster. You're awakened by it. Now this could be you, Pisces, or it could be the person you're dealing with. Or some situation that's coming towards you. But we're going to have to clarify these two cards more when we take a look and see what the rest of the reading is saying. So for now, let's take a look at how your person sees you. They see you like the Hermit and also like the Page of Wands. Now the Hermit, is it can be an... It can be an extremely spiritual card. It can be. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. You may be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. So just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So they see you trying to get rid of some baggage. Trying to clear your mind. Um, just a little side note. With this hermit card, when it talks about love, it's possible that a romance from your past could be rekindled. That's just a little side note. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's also what the Hermit card means. So, they see you, yeah, wanting some time alone. 
you're contemplating. And it's with the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands, they're warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it indicates energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. This card indicates that things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to life, starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It brings a really positive energy, but we have to supply the follow-through. So, Page of Wands is how they see you. They see you want to reach out with messages of love. But you have that energy of easy distraction. And you're trying to clear your mind right now with this Hermit card here. So it looks like you you want time alone, but then it looks like you you come back wanting to reach out. You want to talk, but you have a hard time staying focused. Maybe you got a lot of things going on. So they do see you having passion for them, but probably right now you just you need to get rid of some baggage. That's what they're thinking. So let's take a look at how you see them. You see your person as the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. Now the Ace of Swords indicates a new beginning of, of some sort, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship, from a job situation, from a neighborhood. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. The Ace of Swords, it calls on us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. So you see them facing some type of challenge here. They need to put a stop to something and then they'll get some, some great new beginning. Yeah, and it's challenging for them to do this. Something you, you want them to put a stop to or something they know they need to put a stop to to have a new beginning with you. Now this pair with the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us where we put our focus in life, has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you might find yourself asking, what will you choose to focus on? The implication is clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have? and get on with things. The point is you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So there's disappointment here with this Five of Cups. Loss, regret, could be feelings of abandon or abandonment or or feelings of, unlove, of, of being in love with the Five of Cups. Something happened uh, Pisces and you see your person disappointed. They're disappointed and they know they need to put a stop to something and it's really challenging for them. So we have to see where this disappointment is coming from. But we need to see where find out where this, this we have to find out where this disappointment is coming from. Yeah. So let's take a look at why it's happening. Why it's happening? We've got this Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. I don't know if you can see the picture, but this man, he's working. Looks like he probably started early in the morning, and now it looks like it's about to become nighttime. He's still working, and it doesn't look like he's, he planned, it doesn't look like he is planning to stop. It does not. And it's raining out there, big heavy raindrops. You probably can't see it, but yeah, he's going to continue to work nonstop. So you have a lot on your plate that you must accomplish. Dedication to the task is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one should work all the time. The Eight, eight of Pentacles. It can indicate a very hard work period. This doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. 
So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. There's a lot of passion here. Someone's really motivated and inspired. Someone wants to master this connection. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. You can find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Your project should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to, to people or to your person. Because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card it points towards being independent, thinking for yourself. So the other reason why it's happening, besides this Eight of Pentacles with all this passion and motivation and inspiration, is the Seven of Wands. Uh, someone wants to be the last man standing. Yeah, or last woman standing. So, let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. Because I know the reading is all over the place, right? So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, now that we know what the cards are saying. So, Pisces, your person sees see you as going into deep thought with the hermit card here really deep dark dot and you're spending time alone or you you're going to be wanting to spend time alone but they they know that you still got passion for them with the page of wands here and you see them as as needing to stop something they need to cut out something so that you two can have a new beginning or a fresh new start but they need to, and they're disappointed. There's disappointment here with the Five of Cups. They're disappointed maybe because you, you're giving them an, an ultimatum. Cut it out or else. I don't know what it is. Maybe this person is married. Maybe they have someone else on the side. Maybe they have addictions. Something they need to cut out and they're disappointed. Because you, you're giving them an ultimatum. Cut it out or else. And once they cut it out, you guys can have a fresh new start. That's how you see them. And, um, and what's going on is that your person looks like they're willing to put in the energy and the effort that it takes to get this fresh new start with you. They're going to be working hard. Looks like they want to work hard anyway, and they'll they'll be trying to put in the effort and energy. Uh, your person, Pisces, they want to come out on top. They want to be the last man standing with you, or the last woman standing with you, with the Seven of Wands here. They want to be the winner. But they got some, looks like they got some anxiety about how to do it, how to go about it. So it's causing them some stress. And disappointment that they got to leave something behind just to be with you. Now, this person does want to be with you. They want to avoid a tower moment. They want to avoid this tower moment with you. This person wants this new beginning with you. So, they don't, it looks like they're going to be working hard. Or they'll be attempting to. Because they got a lot of passion for you. They want to keep this connection going. They're inspired by you. They want to master this connection and be the last man standing. They don't want a tower moment. Uh-uh. So it's causing them some anxiety. They're going to try to get it right. Try to make things right for you and for this connection, Pisces. So that you can come out of hermit mode. You can come out of being stuck in your head there and taking time alone. They got passion for you and you got passion for them. 